All right, here we are with the Behind the Boards Extra, which is a Melodyne uh, one. So Melodyne is a pitch correction software. So if you could just open up the file you downloaded uh, when you saw the video and accompanied the video, uh, there's a folder there. And in the folder are these .mar files, which are Melodyne arrangement files. Um, I want you to go to the one that says Twinkle Melodyne Basics Mess. Now, this one is a bit of a mess. Let's double click it and open it up. Uh, when you open this up, as long as you have Melodyne installed, Melodyne will launch. Um, and then after that, you're going to go ahead and have uh, the WAV files uh, that are here launch in with it as well. Uh, the WAV files are a piano file and a vocal file. So here's Melodyne launching itself up now. Uh, we're going to be focusing just on pitch correction uh, on this video, but Melodyne does a lot. So we'll, we'll do a few more of these uh, to show you some of the other features and show you how you can be using it uh, with your artist and your recordings. Uh, all right, so here's the first window it brings up. In this window, it kind of just shows us what we have in Melodyne. So we have the piano and this uh, named Twinkle here. This one is the vocal. Um, so piano and vocal, we could play back in this window. Twinkle, twinkle. Okay, uh, but in this window we can't do any editing, so that's really what we want to be doing. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to some editing with it. So <clears throat> let's go click the piano one on the left here. We have the piano highlighted. It's the more reddish orange one, and the non-highlighted one will be yellow. And that can change back and forth and so on. Uh, but let's click on the piano one. Let's go ahead and go to Window and go down to show editor because we want to start editing <clears throat> and you can see in that window there's a, a lot of uh, shortcuts and they're very self-explanatory here we are in the editor we're going to take a look at what we have here we'll play it back all right so we have the piano track this piano track is twinkle twinkle little star uh, it's something that i think everyone knows uh, and it'd be good for us just to learn off something we know to begin with uh, this, these are the right notes in the piano track. You could take my word for it, you could play it back, but Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and C major are these notes. Uh, so let's just take my word for it for now, and we'll bring up the vocal track, which is not perfect like this is. So over to the top right, let me click this a few times, you see where I am? Okay, this up and down arrow is where you want to be. You want to go to number two, which is Twinkle, our vocal. And let's take a listen to that. Now it's going to play back uh, what's visible. This is your play visible. I like to keep it on that. Um, you could play arrangement, which means it'll play everything in there, or play selected, which means it'll only play the track that's highlighted here. Uh, play visible will work for us here. It's going to play back the piano track, which is this yellowish one, and the vocal track, which is the orange one. All right, so let's point out something very, very important. Uh, all the notes are on grids, and the grids are different notes. Each one of them is a different note. So we can see that this right here is on a B. And if we move that, it's going to play a B. Um, if we come down to here, where it's supposed to be, we're on an A. In the middle one, A sharp. So anything on this B grid is a B and so on as you make your way down there. So you'll know what notes you're actually putting things to uh, just by looking at that. Just a couple of things about this interface here. Uh, I want to show you where the zoom is. That's in the bottom right. These mountains, the larger ones zoom in, the smaller ones zoom out, and you can zoom vertically or horizontally. Uh, so vertically, horizontally, and let's zoom back out horizontally, then vertically. Real simple, that's your zoom in, zoom out, just in case you hit a wrong button and wind up zoomed in real tight. Uh, that'll fix it for you. <clears throat> Let's also uh, just remind you of the undo button. That's command Z, and that will undo anything that you made a mistake on, uh, you don't know how to fix. Just undo it with command Z, and when we need to save. We need to save the arrangement. That's what you always want to save. Um, the audio save will actually take everything out of Melodyne so that you can bring it back into Pro Tools and do your work with it. But we'll get into that on a separate video. Let's just talk about the arrangement save, just the work that you're in the middle of doing. That's how you want to save it. So in order to start and stop, we're just going to use the space bar. It will start you and it will stop you. It's really that simple. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. 
All right, so we need to see that we have some wrong notes here that we want to fix, get them to the right note. Uh, let's tackle the big ones right away. Here's a big one. This one's way off. It's on a B. It should be on an A. Let's get it there. So let's bring up our tools by right clicking or two finger clicking on a Mac. Move over to our edit pitch, and that's the one we want. Okay, so now that we have our cursor to, uh, in our edit pitch mode, we'll click on this B that is not supposed to be a B and move it down to A. All we have to do is click and bring it down. Now let's listen back to that now. So that went from to which is a correct note. Uh, now we see coming up we're on the wrong note. Uh, this is what we call flat. When you're lower than the note, it's flat. When you're higher than the note, it's sharp. So this note is flat. It's on F. It should be on G. Let's move it all the way up to G. All right, so we see we have one more thing wrong here. This is on F sharp. Should be on G. Let's move them up. There's two of them here. Let's move them both up. Now let's listen back to the work we just did. All right, so it went from incorrect to correct really fast there. Uh, we went from notes that are way off to notes that are dead on. Uh, let's move forward, correct a little bit more of this. I wonder what you are. Uh, we know those notes are wrong. Uh, we know by seeing where the piano is, and we know by hearing. We know what Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is supposed to sound like, and these notes are not the right notes. So <laughs> let's move them from E to D. Great. Okay, now you can see in this section, we're not right in the middle of a D. That means we're a little bit off. So this one would be a little flat of a D, and this one will be a little bit sharp of a D. Uh, we're, we're in the, the area where it's not going to be a terrible, terrible No, Well, I'll play it back for you. You'll see it's, it's pretty close. How I wonder what you are. But let's fix it even more. So you've noticed that when you're pulling, you can only go one note you can only go one note at a time. But if you press the option, the Alt Option button, you can click and drag it right to where it's supposed to go. All right, so let's do that for all of these. Let's get them right where they're supposed to be. Practice that Alt Option drag. You can see that the outline that they give you, which is, is fantastic, it just shows you where to put it. Uh, if you're alt option dragging right now, let's take a look at this one. And just get it right into that box. So we see that R is a little flat as well. Let's bring that up. Now, one thing you're probably thinking about is this note over here. Uh, when singers sing, they like to ramp up to notes, ramp down to notes. It's, it's pretty human for them to do that. I don't like to go ahead and correct all of those. Um, just because it leaves it a little more human when you don't. But that's a producer... Uh, feel that you can go ahead and decide on your own. You could go ahead and correct all of those. It'll sound a little more dead on, but a little more computerized. And that's a choice you'll make as a producer as to what your specific style will be when you correct these vocals. Um, so let's move through the song a little bit more. And let's look at this next section without even playing it back. Now that we know that the piano's on and we know how to move these notes, let's move them to the correct note. So the piano is on an F here. The singer is on a G. We don't want that. Let's move her down to the F. Um, let's move this off the E to the F. And let's go from our F sharp up here to an E. <laughs> up above the world so, high. so everything got fixed right there. I'm going to show you a different way to get right to the middle of the note before we were doing the option click and drag. Right now we're just going to double click and it's going to bring it right to the middle. Check this out. All right, so this brings it to the middle of the closest note. And since the closest note is obviously an E here, 
when I click this and I do a little double click, it'll bring it right to the middle of an A. So to practice, let's do everything that we just did, double clicked. It's fantastic. Up above the world so high. Great, so we got that out of the way. Now we'll move on to this next section. We'll take a listen. It looks like it is a mess and it's a mess on purpose, but it is a mess and we're going to fix it. Wow, so there's a lot wrong there. Uh, just follow along with me. This A needs to be this G where the piano is. This D sharp needs to be this F. This G needs to be this E. And this D needs to be this E. Great, and now we'll do that double clicking action that we did last time, getting it dead center. Great. Listen back. Like a diamond in the sky. All right. Now the next section isn't very off. Um, so we could go through and double click this whole area uh, just to pull it right where it should be. Or we could do one other thing. We can highlight everything just dragging along and highlighting all the notes in that section. We go up to edit and we'll go to correct pitch. Now this is going to bring everything right to the pitch center. This is 100%. You could do less than that if you want it to be a little more human. Maybe bring it down to, let's see what it looks like at 63. Just keep an eye on this. As I change it, it'll move more towards the natural part that she sang. Um, if I crank it, it's going to go right to the center of the pitch. And this is the pitch drift. This has a lot to do with how far from the center uh, she gets throughout a single pitch. Um, I like to leave this off a little bit. Uh, the higher it is, the more computerized it sounds. Again, this is a producer call that you can make on your recordings. So right now we're just going to leave it at like 67, not go too high on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That's that. So we fixed all of that. Now, what I really hope that you figured out from this is that there are these grid lines. Um, so dark, A sharp, light, A, dark, G sharp. And that go ahead, goes ahead and tells us what note it is. That's what I was using, telling you, let's move from a A to a G. Let's move from a G to an A, uh, because you just follow it back, and it tells you what you're supposed to be moving to. Thanks for following along, and uh, look out for the next one.